Hey there, so uh, just got in the house. It was a Monday. It was a really Monday-ish Monday. It was a Garfield Stone Monday. Anything that could go wrong at work did go wrong, but overall I had a pretty good day. Uh, <clears throat> it got a lot better when I got to work today. I had a, a package actually waiting for me in the mail, so I got it opened up but haven't actually looked in it yet. It's actually kind of like still wrapping on it. So we're going to look at it together right after this. Hey there, so once again, uh, I have James to thanks for this uh, incredible package. So I am kind of excited to see what's in here because he said there's, there's a bunch of stuff and he didn't actually tell me what was going to be in this one here. So we've got it back. <laughs> All right. So uh, first off, looks like there's a poster thing on here. So let's just see what it is. Oh, <laughs> cute. Oh, it looks like... For a half poster, so it's neat though, kind of the shocker thing. So, <clears throat> uh -huh. Ooh, okay, wow, okay, let's look at this. So, first up, we have ah, another vinegar center. Recently, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I'm really into vinegar center right now, and it's kind of one of the things that I'm focusing on. So, okay, and I, oh, I haven't seen this for ages. I didn't know the. Okay, I can't think I kind of knew they put this out. I did this one with trauma. So, Luther the Geek. So, this is a different one. I actually haven't seen this one since back in the day. So, yeah. Thank you. Wow. And I love... Okay, there's other art on this. We'll look at that after. But, uh... There's a bunch of features on here as well. There's a commentary, video interviews, uh, video introduction. All the previous trauma extras are included as well. i got to check it and see what those are. So, Vinegar Syndrome, I'm already really excited with this package. Next up is... Uh-huh, and all of one, and I don't have... Oh, cool. This, I got a movie recently, a bee movie, called uh, Killer... What's it called? Bees? Right? So, Bees. now I have... And this one, my uh, better half is going to, like, kind of really dig. The Deadly Bees. <laughs> so, now I got the bees, and I have all the Deadly Bees. So cool. Wow. <clears throat> this is way more than I expected. Thank you. Uh... And next up we have, haha, <laughs> another one that I was looking for. A new horizon. Put this one out. Because I remember wanting this. I love stuff by, uh, like this cheesy stuff. My better half is going to love this. It's a scorpion release. This is actually really cool. I actually lost out on a scorpion release recently at a, at a flea market that I was at. I don't know if I mentioned it on here or not, but I just... Miss it. I went to the store to get like some money of the uh, direct, uh, you know, the deposit machine. And uh, I keep saying direct deposit because at work I do a, do a lot of stuff with direct deposits. But uh, you guys don't care for that. <laughs> so, Sorceress. So, it's a, kind of a sword handle. It's kind of a fantasy oh, type cool. one. Oh, cool. That, that is a cool one. <clears throat> nice. She's. Oh, we're still watching that tonight. <laughs> no. Okay, she has that one up for a while. Okay, next up is, ooh, nice. Oh my god, this another, looks so cheesy. <laughs> another uh, release, and oh, this one looks really cool too. Readers, they'll get on your skin. This is one she definitely won't watch with me, but I'm definitely going to check this out. Oh man, there's some awesome stuff here. Thank you so much. This is really, really cool stuff. Uh, super huge fan of this stuff. Yeah. I'll put the post back together. That's what I'll do. <clears throat> Next up is... Ooh. This is the one he did mention. So this is the one I'm going to excited about. And it is Sorceress with Julie Strain. Julie Strain and Linda Blair. Uh, what else was in this movie here? There's a few. Michael Parks is in this, of course. Uh, like Findexter. Their names, if you watch a lot of like uh, like lower budget films. I mean, you should know Michael Parks anyway. Uh, so this one's put up by Snaps. Sorceress, and I'm a huge fan of Snap. I'm actually a big fan of this film. It's very cheesy and very 
you know, he was not a huge fan of it. I know when I spoke with James, he said it was not kind of his thing. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I'm leaving you for last. <clears throat> Next up is, well, a hammer one. Because I'm collecting the, uh, the hammer. Collection. Hammer. Nice. So it is Ingrid Pitts, Countess Dracula. And uh, this one I wanted for a while. Uh, Smith Life of Ingrid Pitts, out of commentary. Wow. So, wow. This is amazing. Thank you. I mean, like, incredible. Next up we have... Oh! Yeah, and I'm going to cry. I wanted this movie for so long. It's a Code Red. And Code Red is extremely hard to get around here. Well, this is my Western. When I was growing up, my dad would, like, show me a lot of these, like, spaghetti Westerns and stuff like that. There's one really brutal one. Uh, really cool though and I really liked it when I was growing up and it was like one of those where you kind of had to like send away like place like video search ma'am if you know what that is you know, your congratulations you're probably part of the VHS era uh, or one of those places you had to go around and get it and it was like a really hard find but uh oh man Cutthroat's Nine Cutthroat's Nine is one of my favorite westerns of all time uh this movie's like uh the recent one that oh what's the name of it again the one you put out it's totally come from I'm so excited that I'm forgetting the Tarantino movie that's coming out recently Tarantino, we watch. Uh, Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight, yeah. So Hateful Eight owes a lot to movies like Cutthroat's Nine. It really, really does. Did my videos just start again? Okay, there. So today was actually a big day for finding stuff. Um, I hate having myself on screen. <laughs> it's better than having nothing on screen. That's a way to like pimp the last video that I did. Um, wow, James. Um, wow. <clears throat> and next up is my favorite hammer. Vampire film uh, ever, actually. Uh, aside from the Christopher Lee ones, my favorite vampire film was like. Uh, he's, he's got this uh, guy in it. And uh, it's hard to explain. Anyway, really exciting one. It has. Uh, it's got Doctor Who, like, uh, I think, because Layla Ward's in it, it's got kind of Doctor Who like aspect to it. Uh, and it's Vampire Circuit. So. Oh my God! This this is this is amazing. The blood is shown on Earth, making vampire circus documentary, gallery of grotesqueries, brief history of circus horror feature, uh, visiting the ha the House of Hammer, Britain's legendary horror magazine feature, vampire circus motion comic book. Oh man, I've wanted this for so long. This is this is wow. This is wow. And uh, to to finish off the hammer ones that the uh, that Synapse put out as uh, Hands of the Ripper I was literally looking at this last night on a, thinking about actually wanting to get it uh, wow so uh, thank you uh, there's there's more and uh, thank you seriously so before I get into, oh, and the last one is an arrow release. It's a big arrow release because it's one that I couldn't find. Stray Cat Rock, the arrow one that, uh, there's a new one coming up soon that I'm actually picking up. And, uh, wow. I am touched. I'm actually really touched right now. And so is my better half, as I can tell over there. So this is all five films in the Stray Cat series. James needs to come to visit us in Newfoundland. <laughs> yes. Well, in the next couple of years, I'm going to be going to, hopefully, in Chala, Ontario. And then then I'm a lot closer to everybody. So, uh, James, you definitely need to, need to. I am blown away. She is blown away. I have a note here, which I want to read. <clears throat> see if I can read. Oh, actually, I missed out on it. But... Thanks to James, I have it. And it is the... And he knows I was like upset with the arrow with this. If you're reading this, then the package made it to you, hopefully in good condition. Hope you enjoyed the movies I've included. No, they're not new. It doesn't matter, dude. <laughs> but they're like new, only watch once. Take care and congratulations to your son going to film school. Thank you. Thank you for Matthew. And say hello to your better half. Hello. Bye, James. <laughs> this is... big. Like, see, rarely ever comes on here. Here. Oh, this is cool. So I'm gonna look. Let's see. 
else is it's like you package it with the Children of the Dam poster as well. So I will actually put those back together because I'm a huge fan. Actually, I got to get this Children of the Dam. The next one I'm actually probably going to be getting from uh, from from Screen Factory because that's one of the releases that I really really like. And so, guys, uh, in a haul that I can only describe as one of the most epic things that I've ever received in my wow. Uh, thank you. Uh, that's oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm touched. <laughs> this is the uh, what I got today from James. I was having like a not so fantastic day and uh, my son just moved to Ontario we've been t texting on uh, on and off and I'll be honest <laughs> I'll listen to him and how excited he is I miss him but it makes me so happy that he's getting this experience and this time and I'm not gonna lie as he talks to me about Ontario and all the stuff that he's experiencing and seeing it's made me realize that my daughter finishes school in, within two years and I want her to be able to get that experience and I want myself to give that to my better half and uh, get that. So, wow. I am going to, this is so cool. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Like seriously, this is my first cold red Blu-ray, by the way. Uh, there are some amazing films. There's some great films, but not just that. It just means a lot that you that you do that. And uh, I will be. Uh... Huh. Okay, there I go. I am speechless for a change. Thank you, James. Uh, give James a, a high five in the comment section down below guys because he really really deserves it and uh, I really appreciate it yeah thanks a lot and uh, everybody have a great day for me right now uh, yeah this is when I do my normal sign off thing and I don't want to say thank you again because it but uh wow uh, I'll talk to you later on Facebook and uh, have a great day it's time for tea